Hi, I'm here with Mai. Okay. From Japan. From Japan. So Mai watched my video and she has some questions. Uh, I'm talking about the video six flights, emergency landings that uh, prove the Earth is flat. Hi, right, I'm gonna try to explain. What I was trying to prove is like this is what we have learned in school, right? That the Earth is a globe, correct? You learned this in school, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what I was trying to explain is that according to some flight paths... Uh, By airplane? Yes, yes. When you're flying from place to place, uh, the, we have... Uh, there are two ideas that... One is that the Earth is a globe like this, and the second idea is that the Earth is flat like this. Flat. It's a plane, it's not a ball, it's not a plane, understand? There was an idea before Copernicus, did you study about Copernicus in school? No. Copernicus was an Italian guy, and he was the one who came up with this idea that we live on a globe, okay? Mm -hmm. So they adopted this globe in the 1800s at schools, even before they had proof that we lived on a globe. So this started being taught at schools before they had proof that we lived in a globe. Understand? And recently, like we've been looking at this this and we don't find evidence that we really live on a globe. That the earth is spinning one thousand miles per hour and that we are going around the sun. We don't see evidence of this. Yeah, there is a star here, right like if you go to the North Pole, right above, there is a star. It's fixed there. It's been there for thousands and thousands of years. So, we don't see evidence that we are really spinning and spinning around the sun. We see evidence that we live on a plane like this. And this is the route that we learn, that like uh, when you travel from Tokyo to the U.S., Normally, if you are sitting, there is a screen in front of you, right? From the, from the seat ahead of you, there's another s screen. And they show, you, they show you crossing the Pacific, right? But actually, they don't. <laughs> because uh, nothing is crossing the Pacific. Nothing. This, that's why I showed on the map, because this is actually what they are doing. Suppose that you're going from Japan, you're going to visit Peru, right? On the other side. Just go straight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You should just go straight, right? And stop right in Hawaii if you have to, yeah. and go to Peru. But you know it's not what happens. When you fly into Peru, you actually go to Canada, and then you go to China, and then you come to Japan. So Do you transit? Yeah, yeah. So it makes sense when you look on the flat Earth map, because Peru is right here. Lima. See Lima? Yes. And then when you catch a flight from Peru, if you want to come to Japan, there's, there isn't a straight flight. There's no way. They don't do it. They go either LA and then somewhere in China and then Japan, or there is even a flight from Toronto. You go Peru, Toronto, Toronto, China, somewhere, and then Japan. Or oh, Japan, um, Abu Dhabi? A Japan, and Abu Dhabi, and Abu Dhabi, Peru. South America, Peru. Yes. So uh, the flights show that we don't really live on a globe. Understand? that the Earth is actually flat. Can you make sense now? Yes. You think it makes sense? Yes. <laughs> so we don't live on a globe. There's no way we are spinning around. What the, do you, like, for you who are listening to us, we live in Japan, okay? And we feel earthquakes sometimes, right? Yes, sometimes. We do. We, I, I was having a class on Skype the other day, and my students, oh my God, Everything is shaking over here because she was in Shizuoka. 
And not long ago, I was also at, uh, on Skype with another student. Same thing, we both start, you know, shaking. And we feel, if we, if we were moving, we could feel. But we don't feel the earth spinning. Right? Yeah. And it's supposed to be spinning 1,000 miles per hour. Japan, Japan, Japan. Yep. Okay, let's say that, okay, it's 2.15 in the afternoon. So it takes 24 hours to be 2.15 on Sunday, right? Right? Yeah. So that spin takes uh, 24 hours because the globe has 25,000 miles. It would have to be done in one, by like 1,000 miles per hour. That's a lot of speed, you know, if you consider how fast it should go. Yeah. Do you feel anything? No, <laughs> I don't feel <laughs> We don't feel it. Yeah. We don't feel that stuff. <laughs> now, did you learn in school that we live on a globe, right? Is that yeah. what you learned? Yes, I did. <laughs> so how old were you when you first learned about this? Like first grade? Elementary school? Mm, yes, yeah, elementary school. Yeah, we all learn this. But they started like to give in this education, saying that we lived on a globe, before they even had the proof that we lived here. And now I think it's like, mm, it's too late for them to uh, uh, go back and correct what's wrong. Uh, as I told you, there are many things. I've been looking at this stuff for the past year, since March last year. So it's been one year that I've been looking at this, studying, reading. And as I was telling at the beginning, the position of the stars, the, the sky is always the same. You know? Mm -hmm. Right? It's always the same. You have the uh, constellations, and they go around the Earth. So if you were spinning around around the sun and this earth was spinning, yes. you know. We this, don't feel. We don't feel anything. We don't. Yes. <laughs> so I don't believe we live on a globe. I don't. And uh, that make does it make sense? For yes. <laughs> Makes sense. It does, it does. This is what it it actually looks like, the earth. It's flat. Uh, like this? Yes, yes, yes. And the uh, Antarctica, that we think was a continent, is actually a ring that goes all around. See here? This is Antarctica right here. All around. It's not a continent like they say it is right here. It's not. Because nobody flies over Antarctica. Nobody. Nobody. You cannot fly, like, let's say, from... Uh, you don't fly, like, from the tip of South America to Australia over Antarctica. Nobody does that. It's impossible. Uh, yeah. And w w why? Because if we lived on a globe, it would be possible. We don't. Uh, we can't go. You can go either way. No. East to or west or west to east. What you cannot do is this, north to south. There's no way. <laughs> you can't go. No, but because the Earth is not a globe. If that were a globe, it would be possible. You take off from here, go around the world, and comes back. You can't because the Earth is flat. This is you right here standing up, and people in Brazil are standing up like this. And that's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> You got it now? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. At the same time, this thing is spinning around 1,000 miles per hour. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now, what happens is, you are here in Japan, and we are here in Brazil. We are just distant from each other, but nobody's upside down or facing, you know, the bottom of the, the universe. You know? We are just distant from each other. Far, far away. Understand? Yes. Now I want to show you the way the sun works. Alright, this sun travels like this. Okay?
Okay, this is top of Capcom. Okay. When the sun is here, it's summertime in Japan, in the US, and it's winter time in South America and Af South Africa and Australia. And then after three months, the sun moves to the equator. What happens? Fall in Japan, spring in South America. Okay? After three months, it moves to the top of Capricorn. It's summer in South America, it's summer in Australia, it's summer in Africa, but it's winter time in Japan, Canada, US, Europe. After three months, the sun goes back to the equator. So it's springtime in South America, Australia, and Africa. It's fall in Japan, North America, and Europe. And then again, the sun goes to the top of Capricorn, I mean Cancer. And it's uh, summertime again. This is how it works. We don't go around the sun. The sun goes around the earth. The sun and the moon. How does this work? This is works exactly like this. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The sun and the moon. When it's daytime here, it's nighttime here. Yes. That's it. How, this is how it works. Understand? Make sense? Yeah. See, if the earth was spinning, that would happen all the time. Mm. <laughs> Tsunamis everywhere. Okay, if the earth was spinning 1,000 miles per hour. Like tsunami? Yes, if we were spinning. As I talk to, sometimes I talk to my mom in Brazil, I don't see her standing upside down. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't happen. It doesn't we are happen. same, same around? Same level. Same. Just distant from each other. Make sense? Yes. It does. It makes sense. Uh, recently, you researched? Since March last year. It's been one year that I've been researching this stuff. And... How, how do you research? I had a student. He was telling me about a movie called uh, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. It's a movie. In the movie, the people, uh, they get to an ice wall. An ice wall just like those that I was showing you in Antarctica. Mm, right here. Okay, in the movie, they, they are walking and then they, they come up they, they get this ice wall right in front of them. Then I start searching, researching the ice wall. When I got to the ice wall, I, I learned about this ice wall, Antarctica. And then I, I saw that Antarctica surrounds us. And then I started watching videos about the Earth being flat. And I'm still researching this stuff. And then I bought my camera, the one that I showed the pictures of the moon for you. And I started observing the sky and the stars. And I saw the stars is not like we learn, like rocks. So I started researching one thing and then I bought books and I started reading those books, observing, talking to people, watching videos here and there. And now I believe that we don't live on a spinning ball. We really live on a flat plane. And everything we learn in school, it's not the truth, you know? You said some, some people disagree with Yeah, you. some people disagree. But uh, a lot of people agree. That's why my video has almost 80,000 views. I get like 10% of them disagree. But um, the majority agree. You know? Why they uh, disagree? Uh, they have questions like, uh, 
Now the earth really is spinning. I see the curvature, you know, <laughs> uh, that you can land your airplane like this. Like, I have been to this place here in Brazil, and I know the planes do, do not land like this, you know. And the people are telling me, no, it does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so some people disagree. They don't really... Because they have been learning this stuff in school, they don't want to let it go and believe, well, we live on a plane. Because everything changes if we live on a plane. Your education system, everything has to change. We cannot teach this stuff anymore. But uh, I get more support than people who disagree. But again, and I talk to people who disagree because I don't have anything to gain. Okay, it doesn't matter for me if we live on a globe or on a flat plane. I still have to pay my bills. You know, I still have to worry about my kids' education. But if they are hiding this stuff from us, there is a reason. There must be a reason. You know, we don't know what, what's the reason, but... But I, but I get a lot of uh, comments, mostly positive ones. <laughs> Some people, you know, they, they're not as nice. They call me names and everything. Were you able to understand now? Yes. Makes, it makes sense. It makes sense? Yeah. It's just because uh, we learn one thing and then uh, we see that everything is contrary to what we have learned, you know. It changes everything, our education, my, my biology classes, my history class, my geography classes. It changes everything. Have any more questions? No. Thank you. <laughs>